let, let me tell you about a couple of little things that happened this month that um, really had us in a quandary and, and a little bit perplexed. You know, overall, um, you guys know that we, we buy our wholesale electric from OMPA. And, you know, the OMPA um, had a spike in their cost of production for electricity and driven by the fuel rate going up. Um, whenever, whenever that spiked during, during the month, particularly during that major cold snap, you heard it on the news and you heard everything else. Um, the thing that I need to tell you today is because of Dixie's great work, on the board and the board down there doing their part, um, we should not see an increase, a, a, for sure, a drastic increase in our electric cost um, to our citizens. Um, there's a whole lot of story that goes along behind it. I'll be happy to share a lot of that with you if you have more questions, but that's probably the single largest um, angst that I have had related to finances in municipalities in the state of Oklahoma, maybe ever. You know, um, tornadoes come through and demolish half of our half of the community one time. Yes, it was a major financial hit. But what we were talking about dealing with here was something that was going to be significantly um, large um, and, and something that we wouldn't be able to necessarily handle. Um, the wholesale cost of electric for a two day period potentially was going to cost as much as what we pay for 365 days of electricity. Um, that's the size and the magnitude of what we were dealing with. But like I said, it, it's been taken care of and, and life is good. Russ, this is Jamie. And this probably isn't more of a question as much as just a thought of maybe there's a story here that we could get out to citizens in Perry. Everybody heard the governor come on. We've all heard about, you know, up until this point, also concerned about what we were going to see as far as our utility bills and things like that. Um, this is probably worth getting this out into the public eye and trying to do a positive story around it. Well, and, and I'm hundred percent with you. You know, this is, this may be the largest benefit of a municipal owned electric system. Um, you know, not having a, a three to 4%, eight to 10%, uh, increase in our overall bill month in and month out due to do those electricity pieces um that that fuel cost this is uh, uh one of the points that that we need to make that uh throughout throughout time and throughout the year we'll see people especially summertime when their rates are or their utility bills bills are high and they're wanting to talk about why we don't get our utilities from our electric from og and e or some other source well, this is the reason right here that we can proudly say we're a member of the OMPA uh, because those guys uh, are taking it pretty hard uh, for their members. And uh, I say that we should be a proud member of the OMPA.